I know it's not as good as the first film, but I really liked the second Woman in Black film. This is The Woman in Black 2, Angel of Death. This was released in 2014. Hard to believe it was that long ago. Directed by Tom Harper, written by John Croker, obviously based on the story by Susan Hill, and stars the fabulous and unfortunately now late Helen McCrory. And this actually only has 4.8 out of 10 on IMDb. That's compared to the 6.4 for the first film, so it's quite a difference. But actually, there were a lot of things about this that I really like. And I think the main thing, to be honest, is the um, time period. This is set during World War II. Um, These children are evacuated from London into this house called Eel Marsh. And, of course, the house from the first film. And it's about 40 years after that first haunting. And things start to take a very dark and sinister, unexpected turn. And it's atmospheric. It's beautiful. The lighting is perfect. It's tense. The children are amazing. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I love horrors that are involved in children because the dichotomy of evil and innocence is just such a thrill that I absolutely love it. The costumes are brilliant. Helen McCrory as Gina Hogg is obviously wonderful. And I don't understand why it's got such a low rating. Yes, I think it's maybe not quite as... I was going to say not quite as intense as the, as the first film. I'd say it's actually probably as intense, maybe a bit more intense and unpredictable. But I think the first film is a bit more atmospheric. But this one is still very tense. The set designs are gorgeous. The filming locations just fit in so well with the story. Um, and obviously when we think about the woman in black as a, as a character, as a threat... You know, that presence is there, even from the very beginning. You can just feel it. And you just know that it's there and it's around the corner, but you never know when. And it's just delicious. It's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know why it got such low ratings, but if people don't like it, then, you know, that's... I can't change that. But definitely give it a go if you've been meaning to watch it, but just haven't because, you know, you were worried about the low ratings. It is currently on Amazon Prime. It is beautiful. If you like the first film, I promise you, you will like this. If you didn't like the first film, I'd say still give this a go because obviously the time period is different. The characters, Sam's woman in black, are different. So there's still a very strong potential that you'll like it. It's kind of almost got the devil's backbone vibes, which is a film that I absolutely adore. And I guess there's a little bit of that in here. Um, You know, that, that that, that food, that mood or that feeling. But obviously the woman in black makes it a bit more unique. It's great. I really like it. It's very different to the first film. But also the things that made the first film great are still present here. So definitely ignore the ratings until you've had a chance to make up your own mind. It's a film that I will watch again. And it's a film that I know I'll enjoy again. It's not my favourite horror film ever. But certainly the second woman in black film is what I consider to be a, a pretty worthy sequel.